going on, everybody? It's your girl, it's Hattie, and we're here with our Atlanta Falcons update. Come on, guys. The Atlanta Falcons are one and three. Now, as you know, for the last two years, the Atlanta Falcons have been deemed the team to go to the Super Bowl. Well, we haven't gone yet, and this year doesn't look like we're going to make it either if we don't turn it around. So I'm here today, and I'm going to talk to some fans, and we want to find out what is it going to take to turn the Falcons around. Now, last night, the Falcons host the New England Patriots. Tony Gonzalez looks like he should be playing another couple of years. He didn't look like the player that needs to be quitting. He didn't look like a player that's about to retire. Tony, Tony had 12 receptions for 149 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, he was out there, he was running, he had fresh legs, he looked really, really good. Can't say the same thing for the rest of the team though. So we're gonna find out from some Falcon fans. What's wrong with the Falcons? Let me bring up my first guest. His name is Willie. Willie, come on up here and tell us what's wrong with the Falcons. First of all, thanks for joining ladies in the locker room. Now you're a Falcons fan, I hear. Yes, I am. What's wrong with the Falcons? Well, I think the, one of the biggest problems is we don't have a good running game. Okay. Our running game needs to improve a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. Um, when we get into the, the red zone, we stall out a lot. Huh? And I think that's because we don't have that balance from the from the running game to uh, complement okay. the passing game. Okay. Okay. So you think it's the running game, mm -hmm. and along with the defense too. Along with the defense. Yeah, defense. A defense needs a lot of help. Now you know the three top three defensive players are out. You know, uh, Weatherspoon is out, Asante Samuels is out, and uh, Beerman. Those are three of their weapons, and those three guys are out. And I think that uh, it really looked like they needed them yesterday. Yeah, they did. Um, I think the zone defense that they played, as far as in their passing game, I don't know whether they uh, check off too quick or whatever, but in a lot of cases, uh, you find too many open people in the way back in the second day. Too many, yeah, that could be a problem. Yeah. Well, guys, you heard it from Willie. He says they've got to really pick up on that running game. And of course, the defense needs some help. And if we can get the uh, running game to help out the passing game, I think the Falcons can turn it around. Now, the Falcons, of course, were watching the, the uh, uh, Saints tonight. And the Saints are doing pretty good. Saints are doing very good. Saints are doing very good. They're off to a great start this year. And that's part of our division. Now, the uh, Falcons are going to be, uh, 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 they're going to be, uh, uh, a threat or in the running for uh, the division, they're going to have to meet the same again. Yeah, well, we have to play them one more time this year. Uh, I think we let one slip away at the end of the year. It was a good game. But I, 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 I think the I look at the Falcons, they're a good first half. Team. Okay. From Halftime until maybe almost the end of the fourth quarter, they're a little too relaxed. Ah, relaxed. Okay. And they don't play the, with the intensity that they should be playing with. The end of the game is when they feel like they, well, we've got to make this run now. And they play a little bit better, but a lot like they did last night. I have to agree with you on that because that fourth quarter run that they made, had they been doing that for the entire game, they would have looked like a, 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 a whole nother football team. Yeah. I have to add, I think right now, if you're not at least two or two in this division, you might be out of it already. Well, it's not what Falcons fans want to hear. The Falcons are definitely not two and two, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming up and sharing with us. Again, this is Ladies in the Locker Room, and this is our Atlanta Falcons update, and we want to thank Willie for telling us what the Falcons need to turn it around. Now we have another guest coming up. Let's find out what does he think? What do the Falcons need to turn it around? Thanks, Willie.
Okay, now my next guest is Steven. Steven, so you're a Falcons fan. Yes. You started the game last night. Yes, I did. The question of the day is, what's wrong with the Atlanta Falcons? What do they need to do to turn this around? You know what? I really believe that the Falcons need a, a cultural change. A cultural change. Explain to me, what do you mean by a cultural change? I think um, they definitely have a, a great organization. Okay. I just believe that they need to change to a, a winning organization. So you don't believe they have a winning culture in I their mind? So. I, I, I think, well, the wrong way. They do it in the wrong way. I, I think that they believe that they can they can put, they can get talent from all over and put it on the field and expect to win, if, if, if that makes sense. Oh, no. You got to tell me, what do you mean by that? Okay. Okay, so, so basically, if you want to compare, let's compare to the Patriots, right? Okay. The Patriots can grab anybody. They grab free agents, free agents are undrafted, and they, they get people that you can't even tell me three of their receivers. Who, you don't even know who they are. You don't know who they are. But the culture within the Patriots organization represents winning. All ah. they do is win. That, that's all they don't care about. And whoever comes in, they expect to win. And they, and they follow that fucking leadership from the head to the, to the tail. Okay. And I think the Atlanta Falcons, all they focus on is getting the, the amount of talent and, and they think they can win. Talent wins games, not championships. Uh-huh. Okay. I like that. A cultural change. So, Steven says the Atlanta Falcons need a cultural change. And when you say it like that, to have a winning culture, you're right. Now, how do you think they can achieve that? You know what? It's going to take some, just like I said, you know, it, it, it's protocol. Proper protocol. It's, it's, so it starts from, from the top. top. It starts from the top. The players are only going to follow and do what they're going to do. So, it's, okay. so I'm not saying they have bad coaches, but sometimes you need a change. You know, you go through the season, you win games. Something needs to get get them over that hump. So, part of, I want to make sure I understand you. So part of what you're saying is that I love Coach Smith, but you're saying as a coach, he he's accepting what they're giving. He's got to stop accepting yeah. what they're giving and and take nothing less but but a win. And if they're not giving a win, then they got to go. Something got to shake. Something got to shake. All right. Well, Stephen, thanks for sharing with us tonight. Uh, a cultural change. We've heard from Willie and we heard from Stephen tonight. Atlanta Falcons, if you're a Falcons fan, you got to be a little bit worried. Uh, we're off to a not so great start of one in three this year. And uh, we were talking about a cultural change. Yes, and, uh, and also we talked to Willie and Willie had some good suggestions as yeah, well. So we'll see what happens. All right, thanks for coming out. The Hudson Grill, centrally located at 6317 Roswell Road in Sandy Springs, Georgia. The Hudson Grill, where you can find all the sporting events with TV monitors and sports games to play. Where fine dining meets sports. The best wings, the juiciest burgers, the great pasta dishes. Oh, and shrimp and grits like you've never had them. The Hudson Grill. Join us today.